Sierra Leone is currently grappling with the alarming surge of the synthetic drug Kush, especially among its youth population. President Bio highlighted the existential danger posed by drug and substance abuse, singling out Kush as a destructive force jeopardizing the future leaders of the nation. He urged unity in confronting this plague, emphasizing that the Kush epidemic transcends class, ethnicity, gender, or religion. As your president, acting on the powers conferred on me by the Constitution to declare a national emergency on drug and substance abuse. With this national emergency on drug and substance abuse, we shall broaden the scope of the government tax forces work and adopt a multifaceted approach to addressing the increasing Kush epidemic. Our fight against Kush should be a collective effort, which is why I have directed the setting up of a national tax force on drugs and substance abuse, with a particular focus on combating the rising Kush crisis. The national tax force will be multi-sectorial, comprising key government ministries, departments and agencies, security and law enforcement agencies, community organizations, non-governmental organizations, development partners, religious organizations, and recovering people with substance use disorder. President Bio's decisive action in declaring a national emergency on illicit drugs, particularly addressing the deadly nature of Kush, has amassed widespread commendation. Often tainted with hazardous chemicals, Kush has emerged as a lethal threat, claiming numerous lives and leaving many in critical health conditions, especially among the youth. I want to use this opportunity to thank the President, His Excellency, for listening to us, the civil society, human rights defender, the security apparatus, ministries, departments and agencies. And for him to listen to the call that all of us have made our efforts in writing. Me standing here, Solomon Sundu, I was the first to say, let the president, you know, declare public health emergency on this Kush issue or drug issue. So in this case, if he has done so, that's what we are expecting. And I want to say, it means that the civil society voice is not running down the drain, but the president is listening to us and the democracy we are yearning for. It's at play. Political analyst and social commentator Minkailu Koroma urges authorities to earnestly implement the national emergency declaration in the fight against the Kush epidemic. Even during the Ebola virus disease, mm. the APC was in power. And some people can use that particular circumstance to wreak havoc on others. Politically, it can even be within the same political party. People will take advantage of that. When it is a public health emergency, the stipulated regulations are very, they are in black and white. Mm. You go strict to censor according to the law. Do not pursue anybody who is not involved in Kush. Make baseless allegations because that person is an opponent and is a threat to you. Mm. And say this person is involved in Kush and because it is public health emergency on Kush, the law will go after the person. So don't do that. Use the law to its fullest to pursue those that are involved in the dealing of Kush and pursue them to the latter. Mm. But do not use the law to disadvantage others for political reasons. That is the position I am pushing forward. Given the gravity of the situation, senior journalist and BBC correspondent in Sierra Leone, Umaru Fofana, stresses the necessity for a comprehensive and robust action plan to effectively combat Kush and drug abuse. We have to have a health plan. How could deal with this? We need a health plan on how to deal with this, along with plans for social welfare, youth empowerment and civic engagement to raise awareness and involve communities. In my opinion, the impact of substance abuse, particularly Kush, surpasses that of COVID in Sierra Leone.
Despite the statistics, COVID did not have a profound impact on us. With COVID, we had epicenters in different areas. But for Kush, the whole of Sierra Leone is the epicenter. It's everywhere just because outsiders aren't leading the fight doesn't mean we are absolved from taking charge. No means we will not for leading by ourselves. President Bio issued a serious warning to individuals involved in the drug trade, asserting that the law will be enforced against offenders. The devastating impact of this potent substance claiming the lives of countless youths underscores the urgent need to address its origin composition and consequences. The fight against Kush is paramount to safeguarding the future generation of Sierra Leone. Salivu Charna Kamara, AYV News.